Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So this week uh, we have the weekly oracle card guidance, but I'm using a slightly different method. I'm going to be using these Aboriginal uh, Dreaming Totems here by Mel Brown as a guidance uh, for the energy. And I would like you to make a selection between one, two and three. What I'm going to do is I'm going to read the stone along with the energy that's coming through for you. Uh, as well as this card. So I'm not exactly using oracle cards and I'm not doing it as such that the options that you choose, one, two, three, are separate from um, your actual message. I'm going to integrate them all in. So um, don't think too much about the, whether it's one, two, three. I'm not going to be using the numbers. I'm going to be using the option one here, the rainbow jasper. Uh, and then this is the orange calcite. And actually, I'm sorry, I've forgotten what this is at this moment. But um, yeah, I don't remember. I'm sorry. But uh, you, it, this is the option number three. Um, so go ahead, make your selection. And I'm going to go ahead and begin the reading. All right. And I hope you guys are all doing great. Thank you all for your comments along the way. I really love reading your comments. And thank you for letting me know when it resonates and when it doesn't as well. So for those of you who've chosen the rainbow jasper that's here, uh, we are asking, what is it that you've come here to hear today? And what is it that you need to know as we go along? And I'm going to go ahead and choose one of these cards here. And there's this that's come out, but I feel like this also needs to be spoken about. The first card we have here is decisions, okay? And we've you've chosen the the rainbow jasper here, um, and the the card here reads: "It's your decision whether you keep this up or let it go, but continuing will not change the circumstances or the outcome." Um, so what I want to talk about here before I go into this card, which is the second one um, that was poking out, uh, is that it seems to be there that there are time for uh, decisions to be made, well, obviously, but rather a time of trans transformation. So this is an ideal time where things come up in the air, uh, things are a bit disheveled, and uh, you're not really sure of which way to go. And there are a lot of decisions to be made at this moment, and those decisions are crucial. And I think that the decisions that you make will ultimately speak of a newer you or an older you. So you know, taking a look at the decisions that you've made in the past and the person that you've been in the past and ask yourself whether if you make the decisions that you're about to make right now as you go ahead, and I feel this energy lasts for another two to three weeks, um, would you be making a decision? Well, I say I would think one to two weeks and then it might kind of spill over for the third week. I think what's What's going on here is that you have an opportunity to be able to change things, to be able to move things in a different direction. And if you've been dreaming of something um, that you, is just beyond your reach, then now is the time to be able to make different decisions than you would have in the past, just in order to be able to uh, to ascertain or to be able to uh, reach those goals. I don't know why the word ascertain came up, but it's about, yeah, okay, so it's about being able to understand the information that's coming through and being able to uh, decide from there, you know, where it is that you need to go to and, and which is going to be the new you and how it's going to unravel. So it feels to me the way in which I'm, I'm the in energy that's coming through for you is that you have different facets to you. You have different ways of responding to situations. You have different ways of um, of exposing yourself or showing yourself to the world, rather. And the what I'm being shown here is that there's a part of you, a facet of you, which has been in hiding. It's been, you know, under. It's been in the closet, packed away, put away. And it, it hasn't been let out to air in a long time. And so the energy here or the guidance here is basically talking about letting that part of you out to air letting that part out of you so that others can see more of you and letting that part out of you uh, so that you can experience more of that aspect of yourself as well. So I feel that this card has everything to do about transformation, largely because um, the rainbow jasper is about transformation. It's about making deep changes in one's life. It's about being able to really change uh one's course of action and you know if you're one of those people where you've been feeling like you've been doing the same thing 
for too long or things haven't really changed or there's been a bit of stagnancy in your life, then it's the rainbow jasper that will help you to be able to move that energy and, um, and shift that. And, you know, it's up to you and the decisions that you make now, I think, especially in the next two and a half to three weeks, which ultimately will decide the direction that you will go in in the longer term. So I feel like that is a very specific message here. And I think it applies to several of you um, going on liberty. Uh, by say, I'm taking liberty by saying that. Um, but I do think that it's something to pay attention to as you go along. So I'm just going to turn this one over and see what's coming through for you. So we have frustration here. Card reads, your frustration is not a wasted energy if it is channeled positively to create a better outcome for yourself. Embrace frustration and work with it, not against it. So I think here, you know, um, if, if this is a reality for you, if this is what you're experiencing, then the way I see this advice is not it's just to take frustration and have the frustration that you experience and be a kind of um, hovering energy that's just reminding you of the direction that you need to go into. It's like in the air, uh, an energy that's in the air that's just reminding you of where you need to go to, but not to embody yourself into the frustration, not to get to to soak it up and to um, react to it and to be able to uh, just respond from that space. Because if you are frustrated about something, if you're trying to do something and it's not moving or you're feeling impatient um, because it hasn't worked out, then the idea is not to go around feeling patient or to go around feeling that frustration and, and just completely owning that frustration, but rather to take that frustration and put it to the side and remember that there's frustration here in your life. And then what are you going to do about it? How are you going to approach things differently or what decisions are you going to make uh, differently so that you can actually get rid of that frustration you can remove that frustration from your life so I feel like you know it might be a time of um, I wouldn't call it term turmoil but some degree of turbulence in the next um, while just so that the right decisions can be made and it's not a bad thing it just feels like everything is up in the air um, there's there's something that needs to happen. And so this is the time for you to be able to make those changes and to be able to move things in the direction that you want to move it in. And it feels also like if you if you do this now, you won't regret it. You know, it's not it's like you've been given this huge opportunity to be able to change things and make things work in a different way. And the frustrations are, are just a distraction. So don't let that um, take up too much of your headspace. Just let it um inform you or inspire you as to the way in which you need to go about doing things all right i'm going to leave that message for you there and i hope that helps you as you go along in this week and and the next um good luck with all of that stay safe and healthy and lots of love to you all blessings from me to you so for those of you who've chosen the option number two which is this orange calcite here we are asking what is it that you've come here to hear and what is your weekly oracle card guidance and as I mentioned in the intro I'm just going to choose a card and work with that as well as with the stones energy to come up with your message for this week and I think it's this one okay well that's pretty much matching the energy of the the stone so um the card is confident and it reads you confuse confidence with ego there's no shame in confidence. It's about knowing who you are and what you want. And most importantly, having the courage to stand in your own power. All right. So I feel that this week is all about that. It's all about the orange calcite energy is all about stepping in your power unashamedly, owning it, owning the path that you have owning the world as you have it, owning your talents, owning your gifts, being proud of yourself and just being able to show that, you know, it's like a this energy of being, of having pride in yourself and what you're able to do and not being ashamed um, of it at all or not being, not feeling shame for having pride or for being, for bragging. There's so much that's that you have to show and there's so much that you have to give and the only way that you can do it and do it in a limitless way is to to basically allow yourself to be free to own 
all the great things about you, to own all your talents, to own all the attributes that you have, to be the best version of yourself and do so and stand proudly and show yourself to the world. And I feel that this card's all about that. It's all about owning who you are and just really not being afraid of it and not having to diminish yourself in the face of others and having like limitless possibilities to come from you because this energy if you are this person if you're standing that energy and you're standing in your own power what's going to come is like a whole different reality from what you have if you aren't doing that okay it's going to give birth to so much more it's going to flourish so much more is going to flourish from from there and so this energy is very much about that I do feel however that there might be something else here and I and I feel like I need to punctuate this reading with another card so I'm going to go ahead and make um, a selection of another card here and ask if there's anything else that those of you who've chosen the option number two the orange calcite need to hear today The card that, that's come up is called Preservation. So the card here reads, Reevaluate this battle you engaged in. A hasty retreat may be in order. Self-preservation may be the only thing salvageable. So I think that, you know, that is also an important point because I feel here it's talking more about your past and where you've been with or with this energy or where you're coming from with this energy. And I feel like this is all about self-preservation. This is all about just being the best that you can so you can survive so you can show the world your goods so that you can contribute in an effective way in this world and sometimes it's all about survival it's all about being able to do whatever you need to do in order to survive so obviously don't do anything that is um morally questionable or something that you will not be happy with uh with you with yourself if you've done that but you know don't be afraid. Don't feel shy. Now is not the time to feel shy. Now is the time to stand bright and be confident and um, stand knowing what you can and cannot do. And now is not the time to doubt yourself. If there's any of that energy around, work work it away. Work, get rid of it, you know, work through that and, and place it aside for the moment. Because I feel like as you go ahead in this week, you need to proceed with confidence, with self-assuredness, with um a great deal of self-respect and understanding of yourself and compassion for yourself as well and I feel that um, if there's something if you're getting like a rejection from somewhere if you're getting some kind of um, you know information from somewhere where you've asked for something where you've applied for something you've getting uh, a rejection just move out of that as quickly as possible and move on to the next thing. Don't spend time and any kind of energy that's going to hold you back in any way or make you feel little in any way or make you just, just you know, take you back or put you on a downward spiral. What you really need to do is just step on that game and be really self-focused this week as you go along, as you need to go ahead and create and do whatever it is that you need to do in your life and you know also in order to be able to give birth to what's to come in the future because I feel that's a really a theme here it's about it's not just about this week it's not just about how you need to pre uh, present yourself it's also about how you bring yourself into the world so that you can in fact change things for yourself as you go along and uh, to bring a different energy in or to to um to some for some of you it might be to bring an older energy in that's been lost along the way so to be able to recreate opportunities or to be able to refine the path that you've been on in terms of your opportunities so to be able to get yourself on a track to to really making your dreams come true or um to making a new dream something that's come up for you recently come true so making sure that you can actually um you know step into that energy to make that happen it feels very much to me that you need to be bright eyed and bushy tailed you know you need to really love yourself you really need to be almost naive in the way that you go about doing this but really taking care of yourself so stepping out of any situation that may be toxic or presenting a signs of toxicity and moving towards a brighter future moving towards a really a lovely tasty 
um, delicious future. I don't know why those words are coming up, but that is what's you know what's coming up for you uh that is a bit strange i have to say uh but it's something that you know it's almost like i guess you it's almost like you've got to taste it you know you've got to taste what what where you're headed to and not let anything stand in your way i feel here that for some of you it's it's really about surviving so it's about doing anything that you need to do in order to survive so putting aside whatever uh you've people have thought of you or what you know, you need to present to the world about yourself or, you know, how people see you. You need to just like not worry about any of that and just do whatever it is you need to do right now. So if it means um, backtracking, if it means going back home, if it means being going back somewhere where you said you would never go back there before, uh, then do that, you know, do that if you need to do that. And if it means, you know, getting the help of parents or the assistance of family in some kind of way or friends, or elders, or uh, old uh, employers, or, um, you know, old institutions, go ahead and, and do that, because this is all about just being able to do whatever you need to do to get to where you need to go to. All right, so I hope that's helped you. I hope that's actually going to assist as you go along in this week and let me know how it works out for you all okay so stay healthy please and stay safe and stay uh, blessed lots of love for me to you okay bye for now so for those of you who've chosen the option number three here i'm really sorry i don't remember what the name of the stone is it's a greenish tinge uh bluish greenish tinge um it's not so delight or something like that I I just can't remember what it is right now. If I if I, I'll try and look it up later, and uh, and I'll put that in the in the description box if I can find the name. I just don't want to say it's something and that and then it's not. I haven't worked with the stone in a long time, and so I have actually just forgotten what it is for the moment. So for those of you who've chosen this option here, the option number three, and this beautiful st stone, uh, we're asking what is your advice as we go along in this week, and I am using their bridge the Aboriginal Dreaming uh, Totems here. And it feels like it's this one. Wow, it says exhaustion. I just feel I've chosen two cards for the others and I'm going to go ahead and do the same for you here in case there's another message for you. The card is questions. So I'm just going to put that aside for the moment and just read what is in front of us. So the card here reads exhaustion. The caption reads, long and challenging as this journey is, it is worth the struggle. The results are long term and worth every sacrifice made along the way. So I feel like right now, that that you know just looking at the stone and feeling the energy of the stone as well as this card i feel that there's been deep mulling going on i feel like there's been quite a lot of energy spent and there's been quite a lot of changes like a lot of chopping and changing a lot of going in this direction as well as that direction over many years in order to be able to find a space and it's almost like right now you've understood where you need to go to and it's still a long long way ahead of you so it's almost like you need to take a breather and you also need to change things or be more focused in the way in which you go about doing things so that you are really laser like minded in order to achieve what you need to do and where this one thing becomes the priority and everything else uh, falls to the side. And that one thing, that one thing that you've decided on is um, it's going to define how you design your life in order to be able to achieve that. So I feel like uh, this card has a lot of, there's a lot of emotions in here. Not the card, sorry, the stone. There's a lot of emotions in here. There's a lot of um, things that have happened you know there's a lot of experiences that you've had that have led you to this point and it's okay to take time off right now and just to enjoy the simple things in life there's, it's okay to just sit down and have a cup of tea and just read a book it's okay right now to just 
you know, look out and look at the moon or look at the sunset and just or look at the sunrise and just experience that. And I feel like a lot of that is really needed in your life right now. Um, just because this is such a long journey, as the card says, just because it's such a long way to go and you need to pace yourself as you go through this. So I'm just going to see what the other card is here that we pulled out. So the card is uh, titled Questions and it reads, What you are thinking is absolutely correct. It takes courage to trust yourself, especially when everything points in a different direction. So, um, so I think here there is a sense that only you can trust where you're headed to. Only you can truly believe in where you're headed to. Perhaps as a friend, perhaps as someone out there that believes in your goal, that believes in your dream. But only you know where you are truly headed. Only you know the heights that you want to reach and how far you're willing to go for this and how far you're willing to go with this. And only you can trust yourself in this um time and it's almost like you need to walk this path alone it's almost like you need to trust yourself you need to work with the energy that you have and the belief that you have in yourself as well as the belief that you have in where you're headed and let that guide you only and not let any naysayers in and even though you may want to share how you feel or where you're headed or what progress you've made I think it's it's okay to let in those who are conf um, who are your confidence and who are going to support you in your journey but don't let any naysayers come near you right now because I feel like that's just going to exhaust you further and that's just going to uh, strip you of your energy and the momentum that you have going forward here. I feel like it's important also to take breaks but not in but it's important to remember not to lose your momentum as you're going ahead because this is what's going to ultimately take you to where you need to go to and bring you the the whole way through to where you're going to so just in terms of that it's important to take care of yourself in terms of nutrition and exercise and having balance in your life in order to be able to go the long haul uh so it's it's you know if you've been running around for some of you if you've been running around like a headless chicken and trying to do a whole lot of things it's time to stop that to bring silence in yourself and to be able to say okay what is that one thing that I'm going to be focusing on right now and put all your ducks behind that and put everything you know I'm sorry put all your ducks in a row and put all your energy behind that and just go with that um, personally for me I find that really difficult because I always have so many things on the go and I'm always busy with like a bunch of things and uh, it's very difficult for me to focus on just one thing like in the, the advice that's been given right now. So if you are like me and you need to have many projects on the go in order to to be able to make things happen, um, then I think, you know, just be yourself and, and do the best that you can um, and, you know, do it your way. But have that one overriding goal, you know, have that one picture in your mind where you know what the end product is, you know, what what is it? going to be when you've done everything that you've done and that you've achieved everything that you put put out for yourself to achieve or you've reached your goals or you you're at that end you know you're at that 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 end product or that end game that you are on where is it you know how do you see yourself how do you feel in that moment and just to you know it's almost like you need to give yourself a kind of um an elixir of that energy of what it feels like when you are there what it feels like when you have everything that you need and I think it's also important to find that in your daily life as well so find a way to feel that way in your daily life as well as you're going along and so there is a connection between now and the future when you have achieved all that you've achieved and you have made your dreams come true I feel for many of you, you are in a transition space, uh, not necessarily living in a transitional space, but you in a space where you are waiting for the next step. You're waiting for things to, for something to turn, for the time to change, or you're waiting to finish some, something so that you can move on to the next thing. And I think that it's it's fine in this moment to really enjoy this time that you are in right now and also to acknowledge how far you've come and how renowned you are in the in the way that you are right now and you know the words that I'm speaking to you right now are channeled words so they mean 
they have some meaning for you specifically. You know, you might have achieved a lot already and it's up to you to recognize that and to see that in yourself and to you know to really feel that um, as you go along and to be able to take that part of you with as well so you know so if it helps go and sit down write down all your accomplishments that you've you feel where you feel that you've accomplish something in your life you know not by society standards necessarily but by your own standards what do you think you've achieved and what what do you think it's you know how far do you feel that you've come in your life and you know for you if it's about your studies or your material possessions um you know if if that's what's important to you then then perhaps use that as a, a barometer to to gauge how far you've come but if it's you know, don't just use that as what I want to say. Use also your own personality and how you've come through certain struggles and certain um, difficulties in your life in order to get to where you are at. Um, remember how you've dealt with things and how you've approached things. And just remember that and, and recognize yourself for that as well. So I think that is my message for you, those of you who've chosen the third option this week. I hope that helps. I hope that resonates. And um, I hope it really helps you as you go along in the week ahead. So um, I wish you all very well. I wish you a blessed week as you go along. And please stay safe, stay healthy. And blessings abound from Kismet Rising.